everyone, welcome to Amala Movements. I'm Charlotte. Today we have a yoga practice for vulnerability. So feel free to go and grab yourself a blanket, really no worries if not, and let's get started. today's practice lying down. So if you brought a blanket to your practice with you today, you have a couple of options. You can either fold it up and pad it out underneath you. So this is lovely to lie down on. It's a bit of cushioning for the pelvis, um, which was lovely. Or wrap yourself up like a burrito and wear it like you would a normal blanket. And if you don't have a blanket, that's okay too. So make your way all the way down to the earth, bringing your feet mat distance apart and knocking your knees together. Bringing your hands to rest on your lower belly and beginning with a big, beautiful breath, inhaling through the nose. Gently parting the lips and exhale a soft sigh. Let it go. And let's bring the palms of the hands up to the eyes and cupping the sockets. And as we arrive into our practice, into our mat, into our feelings, into our current experiences. Just know that your breath is here to support you. Allowing your breath to catch you. Allow your practice to catch you. Bring the breath and surrender. And keeping the eyes closed, ever so slowly start to peel the hands away from the face and coming to rest the hands on the heart center. The eyes can stay closed, allowing the sound of my voice to guide you. And I really see this action of resting your hands as your heart, sorry, of resting your hands onto your heart as a way of showing yourself that I'm here, I'm ready to listen. Connecting your hands to your heart, showing up for yourself, opening your ears, allowing yourself to feel and knowing that you, yourself, are supporting you, <laughs> you're catching yourself. And let's bring our hands to our lower belly, below the belly button, close to the pelvis, connecting to our gut, our gut instinct. It knows how to feel, it knows how it wants to feel. So this is the practice of being vulnerable to those feelings, allowing yourself to feel how you are truly feeling right now. We don't need to pretend otherwise. We don't need to hide these true experiences, these true feelings. And as we move through this practice of vulnerability, if, if you feel safe to, I really, allow you and invite you to, to feel, to be with how you're feeling, to know that this is all just part of the journey, to open up, to trust and to surrender. Let's take one final breath, lying down, inhaling through the nose. Exhale, sighing out through the mouth. And moving slowly, moving mindfully, let's make our way 
over onto the side, coming into a fetal position. Doesn't matter what side you're coming to lie on. Bring the knees up in towards the chest and resting on your underneath arm. Allow your head to feel heavy, your belly to feel soft, and surrendering into this moment. Know that you are supported. You are supported. And keeping the eyes closed, using both of your hands to help you come all the way up to a comfortable seat. Hands resting on the knees, palms up towards the sky. And slowly, mindfully blinking the eyes open and arriving into your space, arriving into your practice and slowly making our way onto all fours. So if you have got a blanket with you today, there's the option to fold it up and have it underneath your knees. Give yourself that extra little bit of love. Keeping the toes tucked behind you, hands underneath the shoulders, inhale to drop the belly, open the chest, shine the heart forward. Exhale, press through the fingertips, round the spine, looking in between the legs. Opening up the heart space today, inhale, drop the belly, open the heart, let yourself feel. And exhale, round the spine, looking in between the legs. Coming back to tabletop, inhale, and walking your hands further forwards, opening, um, opening your stance, so about mat distance apart with the hands and drop your belly down, hips go back, forehead to the earth, taking a puppy pose and you can bend the elbows here as well so your elbows can support you. We're keeping the toes curled under today just helping us to open out the soles of the feet. Help us feel grounded, connected, supported. Come back to the breath. And I invite you just to notice how this heart opening feels, particularly if we're in a place of vulnerability. If we are feeling vulnerable, there can be a little bit of resistance when it comes to opening the heart. So I invite you to stick with it, to breathe. Let your heart feel heavy. Trust that the heart can open and surrender and melt down. Let's take one more breath. Keep your head and arms where they are. Uncurl the toes, so placing the tops of the feet on the floor and slowly wake up your fingertips and press yourself back up onto all fours. Notice how this feels. Take any movements that feel good and slowly crossing your calves, coming on to your bottom, rocking your feet out in front of you. Feet are in line with the hips. So hip distance apart, and we're really looking for length in the lower back. So you may need to fold your blanket up a little bit more to give yourself a little extra height. We've got a pillow or cushion to hand. That can work really well as well. Bend the knees, fingertips to the earth, inhale. Exhale, slide your left leg up. Keep flexing through the right toes. Right hand to the knee, inhale, find a twist. And stay light, stay easy. We don't need to reach our deepest twist. 
give yourself this room to breathe, give yourself this room to feel and to truly connect and be in this present moment. One more breath. Exhale, untwist. Inhale, sit tall, fingertips to the earth, chest open, heart beaming forwards, and exhale, sliding your right leg up. Left hand to the right knee. Inhale, right fingertips behind you. Exhale to find the twist. Just gently reminding yourself about your left foot. Waking up the toes, drawing the left toes up towards the shin. Inhale to sit tall. Twist. Magic. And then releasing. Bending both knees. Take a little bit of time to move the sit bones and the skinny, the skinny? <laughs> the, when I say skinny. When I say skinny, I meant the skin part of your bum, not your skinny bum. <laughs> the skin part of your bum <laughs> away from you. Bend the knees, inhale, stretch the arms up high. Keep the knees bent, exhale, fold forwards. And I chose to incorporate a forward fold today because I feel like a forward fold can be um, a huge magical learning place for us. Um, I think the tendency is to fold deep, to want to get the head to the knees or the head to the toes or to reach the toes. Can we strip that back? Can we let ourselves be vulnerable and ease off, like really ease off, bend the knees, keep the spine long and just allow the hands to rest. Palms up towards the sky and you can use your shin bones as a little ledge. You may be able to bring the shins to the floor. Sorry, the elbows, the forearms, the forearms to the floor. But ease off. Yeah, feel this vulnerable place. Bend the knees, let the heart shine forwards. The chest is open, the collarbones are wide. Taking one more breath. And now we round the spine, exhale, and slowly rolling yourself all the way up. Truly, truly taking your time. And from here, crossing the calves, rocking over onto your knees. Bringing the big toes together, knees mat distance apart, hands underneath the shoulders, inhale to drop the belly, shine the heart forwards, exhale, hips come back, surrendering into a child's pose, bringing the forehead to the earth, allowing yourself to truly let go. And using your breath, can you shift your focus to your lower belly? And your exhale can help to encourage the lower belly to release, to find a softness, to let go. Let your belly be round, dropping with gravity down towards the earth. From here, grounding your elbows in towards the mat. You may need to shuffle your elbows further towards the top edge of your mat. Bring the palms of your hands together, bending the arms, Anjali Mudra and resting the hands behind the head at the back of the neck. Bring the breath.
Taking one more cycle. And extending your fingertips forwards, pressing through uh, the tops of the feet, walking the hands up in towards the pelvis, rolling up through the spine, coming up to kneeling, backs of the hands resting on the knees, palms up towards the sky. And just feel, breathe and feel, breathe and feel. And having the palms up and open in this way is, or brings a receiving energy. Receive how you're feeling with open arms. Slowly, lovingly start to flicker the eyes open and find a comfortable seated position where we will finish today in a meditation. So if you have a blanket with you today, I invite you to wrap yourself up. Blankets can come around the shoulders. And this adds, um, it's like a hug. <laughs> it's like you've got this little extra weight um, giving you some support. Uh, in times that we feel we need a bit of support. So yeah, I really, really recommend this one. And again, don't worry if you don't have a blanket today. All is good, all is good. Let your hands rest comfortably, comfortably in your lap. Allow the eyes to close. Exhale, let your shoulders drop and melt away from the ears. Exhaling to let your chest, the front of the torso, the heart space, to melt down and relax. Exhale to let your belly feel heavy. Exhaling to let your glutes relax, to soften through your sit bones. Exhaling to let your thighs feel heavy, dropping and weighted. And an exhale to let your whole body surrender. Let's bring the palms of the hands together in an Anjali Mudra and taking a moment to Drop the chin down towards the chest, opening out the back of the neck. And just gently reminding yourself that um, to be vulnerable is beautiful. To be vulnerable is um, such a true way of feeling, such a true way of living, a true way of opening up the body and the mind and the breath and to open up and to feel and to connect to how you feel. It's a beautiful journey. It can be a messy journey, but it's a beautiful one. So thank you for showing up for yourself in this way today. Let's quietly whisper to yourself, I am enough. I am enough. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Namaste.